Yeah, I'm, I'm um, uh, Governor Sheriff Burewori has been, in the one year in office, he has uh, shown real commitment to improving the the health indices, because I'm in the health sector, so I'll talk about the area that concerns me. He has really shown great commitment towards improving the health indices of the state. Like as a hospital, as a tertiary hospital, with the support of the government, we've been able to achieve a lot. We have approval for um, replacement of staff as they leave, so we don't have to keep going back and forth. You know, there's an exodus of staff currently, of health workers, and it has really affected most uh, health facilities. But for us, we have approval from the state government. Once you leave, once we stop your salary, we can replace you without any form of bureaucracy. So that has really helped us to ensure that we um, have constant uh, manpower supply. And then there are times we have certain needs and we go to the government and we get approval for it. And uh, one of them recently that we got approval for is a medical residency training fund for our resident doctors. So, and I think Delta State is actually one of the few states paying it. And uh, my doctors just got their approval for their funds. He, was, he has graciously approved it. So um, it's a lot, actually, because um, beyond even the MRTF approval, we've gotten approval for other things that we require. And uh, we've enjoyed a very, very tremendous amount of support uh, as a facility in the state. For, for power, we don't pay much for power beyond maybe some downtime when we buy diesel, but we are on, on the IPP, the independent power plant of the state, and you know that's 24 hours of light. So I know most businesses right now with the band A, um, new modality from BDC are complaining, but we are not suffering that because the government is providing us steady lights and uh, you know, power is essential to run a business. So that has given us a tremendous amount of cushion. So I think uh, I must commend His Excellency for the support that we have enjoyed as a hospital um, um, to achieve what we need to achieve. In fact, the hospital now is a teaching hospital because with the support of the government, who have an MOU with, uh, who has an, we have an MOU with um, Novena University, and uh, the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria has a, um, accredited uh, Asaba Specialist Hospital to train medical students. So, if um, we didn't have the infrastructure and manpower that the government has provided for us and the support that we've also enjoyed, we won't have been able to achieve this feat in just uh, just, uh, just four years plus. Most hospitals take like 10, 20 years to achieve what um, Ash has been able to achieve in such a short time. So I must commend him for the support that he has given to us. And I want to say congratulations to you, sir, for your one year in office. And I know that um, the remaining period of while you govern the state will enjoy more, which is actually the agenda of the state government, more agenda. And I know that we're going to enjoy more dividends of having him as our governor. I'm 100% confident of that. So congratulations, sir.